guys so today I'm going to be doing a book review of the memory book by Lara Avery I was sent this book by Hatchet Australia so thank you very much Hatchet Australia in exchange for an honest review so here I am reviewing the book this book follows a girl named Samantha who has been diagnosed with a really rare disease that's going to take away her memory she had this perfect future all figured out where she was going to university what she was going to do and then suddenly it gets taken away from her and Samantha's not ready to forget just yet so she comes up with an idea to write the memory book showcasing all her memories and kind of like a diary in some sorts. In here she wants to experience the things such as the first party that she goes to, the first rebellion, the first friendship and the last love. That's all I'm going to tell you about this book because I don't want to spoil it but this book was a roller coaster of emotions. Samantha was such a strong character but I couldn't help believe like Samantha at the start that she was going to somehow get through this disease that she was going to beat it but Samantha doesn't. That's not a spoiler. I think that's pretty obvious but because she's such a strong character you really believe her you want to believe in her so much throughout the book as I said they're kind of like little diary entries of what happened that day or you know her explaining her feelings or her thoughts or writing down stuff that she doesn't want to forget as the book progresses and Samantha's disease gets worse you'll have entries from her on those days and the writing is different the grammar is different and it was just really realistic the way it was done and also really impactful for me this book didn't at once romanticize Samantha's illness however I felt like her two potential love interests did romanticize Samantha's illness a little bit which slightly irked me and it also irked me that there were two potential love interests but I liked them both in different ways. This book also has a really strong family impact. Family is important to Samantha and they talked about it a lot in this book in why a normally the family isn't as is present which is obviously unrealistic and annoying to read about but this book portrayed family really well I believe. This book taught me a lot about the disease that Samantha has and I felt like it handled it all really well and realistically. It was also a tear joker. I didn't expect what to happen at the end to happen and I was actually on the train home finishing this book and I just started sobbing quietly to myself. I was across from someone and they just looked at me as I had silent tears streaming down my face finishing this book. Let's just say I wasn't prepared. I really liked these characters. At some points the characters could be a little bit annoying. Like as I said the two potential love interests. Also Samantha's friend. I don't want to get into spoilers but she does something at the very start that really annoys me and just makes me angry at her. But I guess it kind of shows that everybody's human and that not everybody's perfect. Samantha too has her flaws and she's not romanticized once or seen once as a perfect character. Well she's not romanticized to us I should say as I said her two potential love interests romanticize her a little bit. We'll romanticize her illness a little bit. Overall though I really did enjoy this book. It's been a while since I've read something like this and I felt like it handled it really well and it was really interesting and insightful but also really heartbreaking and memorable and heartwarming and I just I really liked it and I really enjoyed my time reading it. If this book at all sounds interesting to you I I would highly recommend picking it up. I think I'm rating this one a 3.75 nearly 4 out of 5 stars. On Goodreads it will be a 4 out of 5 stars. Let me know in the comments below if you have read the memory book and what you thought of it and like this video if you liked it, subscribe if you'd like to see more book related videos from me and I will see you next time. Okay bye!